Hey guys, I'm Abby. Welcome back to my channel. So it is the start of May and I am trying to participate in Me May Made or Me Made May, but I don't have a lot of clothes that are already made that I'm gonna wear because most of the clothes I have made are like winter clothes. So my goal instead of like wearing my clothes that I've made already is to make clothes that I can wear this month. And so I'm gonna focus mostly on garments during this time, starting with the project I'm gonna start today, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, mostly all of the clothes I made so far are like winter sweaters or jackets or, you know, things for colder seasons, which I cannot wear right now or anytime soon. So I'm gonna focus this month really kinda on doing more summery, spring, warm weather clothes, kinda as my me made project goals. And I kind of already have the first few picked out to do and we're going to start on that today. And kind of the first project I want to do is this tank. It's the Og Ogden Cami by True Bias. This will be my second True Bias pattern to do, but I think this will go pretty quickly. I've done the Raya dress by Tammy Handmade and it was like a similar top shape like this and so besides that dress that's the only thing i have for warm weather so i want to start off with something that i could wear like immediately i've already printed out and cut out the pattern so i just have to tape it together and then cut out the actual pattern pieces but this is the fabric i've chosen i got this from my sister she bought it a long time ago but it has this really cool like border on it so i think i'm gonna you know try to put that on the bottom part of the cam. I do need to line this. Luckily this this pattern already calls for lining just to do the straps the way they are, but this fabric is pretty thin. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I can see my hand through that. So I think this fabric will work well, not only for the style of the shirt, but also since it already needs to be lined, um, it will work well for this. But the only difference is that I'm not going to hem the bottom. I'm just going to have, you know, the bottom here and I'm gonna take the lining, usually, I think the lining stops about like right there, but I'm gonna bring it down all the way to the bottom. I think I'm gonna try to get it where it ends like right here with this fabric. So and I have, I think I have plenty of yardage to make sure I get the, the border all around the bottom since it is kind of on both sides there, they have the border. Like this is folded over, so this is on both sides. So I have plenty of fabric, I'm pretty sure. And I have lining that's just like plain white lining to go under it. But yeah, I am focusing more on garments during May just to go with the theme of Me Made May. But I am working on a quilt currently. I just finished my flower garden quilt by White Rose Designs. My next quilt is also White Rose Designs, but we're doing a quilt along. So it's seven weeks, so it'll take me a little longer. It's just gonna be sporadic throughout a couple of videos but I'll show you the pattern and the fabrics I chose for it. Um, it's It started today that I'm filming this, which is May 3rd. Yeah, it's May 3rd. So the, the quilt along is starting today, but I've had the quilt for a while and I'm excited to actually do it. This is the quilt along that she's doing. It's, it's the Hawthorne Star Quilt. Um, I think I'm doing a throw size. The queen just seemed a little bit much. This is my main fabric that I chose. Um, with these tigers, I thought they're so cute, but those are going in like the main part of these, kind of where the yellow is here. And then these are my accent fabrics. I have another dark blue with stars and then a gold to match the stars and the tigers. And then this light blue to match half the tiger, you can see. And then my background, like in the picture, is gonna be white. I've seen like dark versions of this that I really love, but I just, I wanted to do this as my main fabric, so I needed a light background. Maybe one day I'll do a dark background. But if you want more reference, like the tigers are gonna be this gold, and then this light pink is going to be this other dark blue. And then the taupe color that creates this border, that's gonna be the gold. And then the mint is going to be where this dark pink of the star is. So yeah, that's a basic outline. Um, I have to 
cut these for the, you know, the first week's part. So that might be the end of this video. Excited to finally do this quilt. I loved doing the flower garden quilt, but since that is a quilt along, it'll take a while. I can really focus on my garment patterns and just do that slowly. But to start, I'm going to put together my pattern and cut out the pieces and start laying it out on my fabric. So I have all of my pieces taped together and cut out. I'm gonna have to make a few adjustments to this. So these are like the main cami pieces and then these are like the lining pieces. As you can see, they are, you know, they fit directly into them, but they are, you know, quite shorter. So I think instead of using these, I'm going to use this for both the lining and the actual shirt. And then also I have to kind of adjust the fabric layout so you know you have to lay it on the fold but the fold doesn't include the border that i have i have to like undo this so it's not doubled and then fold it this way so i can get my thing on the fold and the the bottom to match up so if you're doing a fabric like this that's how i suggest doing it but i'm going to cut out when i put this on here when I put this on here, I'm not going to put, you know, the edge down here. I'm going to leave it kind of like up here where I want the lining to stop. Just so, you know, it doesn't hang below where this, you know, fabric is kind of lacy. And so it will be long enough to hide the whole lining inside too. So that's what I have to do is just kind of fix this fabric so I can lay these on the fold lines like it says. Thank goodness there's this lace at both the top and the bottom because you can see this fold lines on this side I would have to turn it this way and put it on that side I think I have to work and like cut each one piece out at a time and then readjust the fabric and cut the next piece out but I'm pretty sure I've figured out how to make it so it looks right and then I can use just spare fabric from changing it up to get it right okay so I was laying down my pieces on my fabric and I think I've just made myself very happy because I did, you know, fix the fabric and I laid the edge of this right along where the lace kind of starts. And I figured out I can fit both pieces on one strip and plus the strap. So I'm literally only gonna use like a quarter to half a yard of this fabric. I have so much left I can make another, you know, garment out of. So I was really happy. They're like very close but there is a little space in between <laughs> the top and the bottom. And plus, uh, I wanted to point out, like, this pattern does kind of like swoop upwards. So since it does hang down from like this line, I'm just going to kind of trace a straight line and kind of go out, continuing outwards. And so it should, you know, go slightly like that. So yeah, I can basically use like half a yard like a little over half a yard of this to make this cami. So I could make like three or four of them if I wanted to really. This is making me really happy. I just now have to uh, pin them down and cut them out. my straps done I used the safety pin method just because I don't have like the tool for the other like turnout methods but I have my straps done so now I can start putting together the pieces see I have my like lining still attached and then the outside of the cami even though this looks very similar to like the bodice of a dress I've done they do it in a different order of putting it together so I think I'm gonna follow this and see which one I like better which like method. So yeah, I just have to sew together the two outside pieces and then the two lining pieces. And it looks like you're gonna like sew them together at the end. So we get started sewing that. So I have 
the lining and the cami sewn together so now I just have to I put them with each other so now I just have to pin them together and then sew around the armholes and the neckline and it will be mostly done just pin and sew these lines and then do the straps and it will be done pretty simple you can see the lining shorter than the uh, lace part so that's nice this came together really quickly can't wait to see when it's done finished my cami it's all nice and done and luckily I got the straps correctly so they're not twisted but I did make one mistake the lining <laughs> uh, the hems inside out so apparently the linings kind of inside out but luckily you can't see that you know it's the lining so it's inside but yeah now I have a nice summer tank it was very quick to throw together and do and I like how the lace turned out on the bottom makes it a little longer that I like. There's my little True Bias Ogden Cameron. Yeah, I can't wait to wear this this summer. Here's just kind of a different view. The edges turned out pretty nice and you can see, glad I lined it, but you can see I have the hem on the outside kind of facing, but luckily it's just the lining that I messed up. So it's not too bad because you can't see it. I can always just leave it. Definitely not see through anymore, but and I got plenty of fabric left, but now this one's done. All right, so now that I got the cami done, I'm just going to focus on my quilt. I have to iron my fabrics and then start cutting them for the first week's challenge of the Hawthorne Star Quilt Along. So that's what I'm just gonna finish this video with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a super simple shirt cami to put together. But I will see you guys next time, hopefully making another garment and working further on my quilt throughout this whole month. You know, remember if you want to post, it's uh, me made May. You can basically either show what you've already made or make stuff and show it off. But I'm hoping to get a lot of garments done along with this quilt along and just kind of get some of the piles in my room a little smaller because <laughs> they've certainly stacked up. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.